Good morning. Today I want to talk very briefly, I think this is my shortest ever video, about clinometers. Now I've personally never checked the angle of a slope before I've walked up it, but there are some people who do need to. Um, I'm trying to think of something now. As an example, a skier skiing off-piste, they would need to check the angle of a slope to check for avalanche risks. Um, a geologist might want to check the strike and dip. Um, forestry workers would need to check whether their machinery will work in a given area. Hill walkers, um, trekkers, I'm not so sure. But over the last few years, compass manufacturers have started building clinometers into their compasses. And if it's on your compass, it's good to know how to use one. Oh, on a technical point, you can either say clinometer or inclinometer. Technically, a clinometer is used to measure angles, such as the side of a hill or a road. Um, an inclinometer checks an angle against the horizon, um, such as on a ship or, or on a boat. But whichever word you use, as long as everybody knows what you're talking about, it doesn't make much difference. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go off and I'll get some compasses and then we'll go through how you use it. Okay, so I've got a, a selection of compasses here. Um, I've got some Brunton, um, Suanto, a couple of Silvers. These ones don't have an inclinometer in and these ones do. So first of all, let's run through uh, how you use the ones that do have them. So I'm going to set my compass to east. Okay, so it's on 90 degrees, as if I was walking 90 degrees. And then all I'm going to do is point the compass up the slope and then read on the declination scale where the small arrow points to and that is the slope angle really really simple there's there's not much else you can say about that now I've also some of you have these type of compasses which are mirror compasses and the only difference between these and the base plate compasses as far as the inclinometer is or the inclinometer goes is that if you look on your mirror you'll see there's a small hole at the bottom all mirror compasses have this hole this is a Brunton 20 and this is some silver I don't know which one it is but anyway if you look there's a small hole at the base of the mirror the idea of this is that you look through the hole at the target so you look in this direction and then you'd read the angle using the mirror so you can actually see it it's as simple as that really Okay, so what happens if you don't have an inclinometer on your compass, but you still want to know what the angle is? There is a way to do this. Let me just grab one. Here we go. So I'll use this one here. So here we have this one. This is just a normal expedition, silver expedition four. Again, set your compass to east. Okay. And then all you're going to do is point the compass or point the edge of the compass up the slope rotate the dial until it's vertical so in this case i've got it's on 60 degrees so you started at 90 don't forget so the difference you're on 60 at the moment the difference is 30 so that's your uh, slope angle really simple once again oh just one thing this method works going uphill and downhill if you point it down the hill and you find out that your it says it's on 120 then it's always the difference between your bearing or your slope angle in this case and 90 so it's 30 degrees that way and 30 degrees this way thanks for watching this is that's it